These tanks would be on the front line of any conflict between NATO and Russia. While the Leopard 2 A6 HEL only features a standard L-55 gun, it remains one of the more deadly tanks within NATO. As Russia prepares to roll out its next generation T-14 Armada, NATO countries are stepping up the pace of their existing tank modernization programs. The demise of the MBT has been predicted many times, especially after the heavy losses of Israel MBTs in Yom Kippur War and more recently the end of the Cold War in Europe as there was no immediate threat to NATO. Events since then however have confirmed that the MBT, when used as part of the combat arms team with mechanized infantry, self-propelled artillery systems, combat engineers, aviation assets, and the essential C4I elements, are a unique combination for maneuver operations. More recently, MBTs have seen extensive operations in the Middle East, as well as in Iraq and Afghanistan where they have more often been used in the infantry direct fire support role rather than engaging other MBTs, which was their original role. Here are five of the most advanced tanks that are fielded, or will be fielded in the near future by NATO. The Leopard Most countries in NATO have drastically reduced their MBT fleets since the end of the Cold War. Belgium has phased out of service all of its 105mm armed Leopard 1 MBTs while the Netherlands has phased out its Leopard 2 MBTs, although one Germany Army Tank Battalion has a company of Leopard 2 MBTs manned by Netherlands crews. Canada decided to phase out its Leopard 1 MBTs, but subsequently reversed this decision and acquired a fleet of Leopard 2 MBTs, some of which were upgraded by KMW for deployment to Afghanistan. Other NATO countries still retain their MBTs as they can be used for offensive and defensive operations as part of the combined arms team. The Abrams The largest user of MBTs in NATO is the US Army with the latest version being the GDLS Abrams M1A2 SEPV3, which is an upgrade of an earlier version and has many enhancements at the subsystem level. The US Army continues to invest in 120mm ammunition, including the latest 120mm M829A4 APFSDST and the 120mm Advanced Multipurpose AMP round, designated the XM1147 whilst under development. The AMP has four fuse modes and will replace the currently deployed M830A1, M1028, M830 and M908 1230mm rounds currently deployed. Late in June 2021 it was announced that Poland would acquire 250 GDLS Abrams M1A2 SEPV3 MBTs, as well as the essential ammunition, training and logistic support. The Leclerc The French army took delivery of 406 Nexter Leclerc MBTs, with the UAE taking 426, including armored recovery vehicles, but some of the latter have now been transferred to Jordan. Production of the Leclerc turrets was undertaken at TARP, while hull production and final integration was undertaken at the now Nexter facility at Rouen which is now building Griffin, Jaguar and Serval wheeled AFVs for the French army. While the Leopard 2 and Leclerc MBTs have been upgraded to extend their operational lives, they will eventually have to be replaced. British soldiers stand next to their Challenger 2 tank prior to participating in the offensive operations. The Challenger The Challenger 2 is a main battle tank, designed to destroy other tanks. It has been used by the British Army on operations in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo and Iraq, and has never experienced a loss at the hands of the enemy. Built in the UK by Vickers Defence Systems, now BAE Systems and Land Armaments, it was designed as a replacement to the Challenger 1 tank in 1986 and has been in service with the British Army since July 1994. Challenger 2 is used by four armoured regiments, based in the southwest of England at Tidworth, Wiltshire and Bovington, Dorset. The regiments are called the Queen's Royal Hussars, the King's Royal Hussars, the Royal Tank Regiment and the Royal Wessex Yeomanry which is the reserve regiment. Each regiment operates 56 Challenger 2 tanks and a similar number of supporting vehicles and tasks such as reconnaissance and ammunition supply.
Upgrades Today, MBTs have a much longer life than in the past and are usually upgraded a number of times, not only to extend their operational lives but also to enhance their capability. In addition, subsystems need to be replaced as they are either obsolete or the original supplier is no longer in the defense business. In the key area of firepower, this can take the form of the installation of a larger caliber main armament developing new ammunition with enhanced characteristics and upgrades to the FCS and sighting system. For example, the original USGDLS M1 Abrams MBT had a 105mm M68 rifled gun, a development of the British Royal Ordnance L7, that is was installed in the earlier M60A1 and M60A3 MBTs, but the M1A1 Abrams and follow-on M1A2 Abrams had the M256 smoothbore gun which is based on the rainmetal 120mm L44 smoothbore gun and manufactured at Waterfleet Arsenal. Rainmetal subsequently developed the longer 120mm L55 smoothbore gun which is installed in the Leopard 2 A6 MBT, and this has been followed by the Rainmetal 120mm L55 A1 smoothbore gun which enables more powerful 120mm ammunition to be fired. The 120mm L44 smoothbore gun is retained, but can be modified to fire the latest Rainmetal DM11 ABM round. Rainmetal has exported 103 surplus Leopard 2 MBTs to Indonesia of which 61 were upgraded to the Leopard 2.